All right, I want you to get specific with naming your emotions. This seems like a really easy thing to do, but so many of us have never really practiced it. We know emotions like happy, sad, mad, but I want you to really get more specific and dive into what the actual emotion is so you can get really clear on what's going on with yourself. Because understanding which emotion, which specific emotion you're feeling is really gonna help you get to the other side of that emotion, which is feeling better. And it's gonna help you get there faster. And naming our emotions actually helps us understand what we're feeling. Oftentimes not really clear to us, right? We don't really know like, oh, I'm just in a crappy mood. I don't really know what's going on. So when you can really identify the emotion, it really helps you understand what's going on with you so that you can then work on feeling better. Okay, so get out your feeling wheel. I want you to look at how in the center there's the happy, angry, sad, right? If you go to the outside of the circle, those are the more specific emotions. That's where I want you to go, right? Those are very specific. Shame, guilt, disappointment, elated, delighted, joyful, right? Okay, so let me give you an example. Let's say I just started the flat belly challenge. Now, if you're not familiar with this, the flat belly challenge is my 16 week intense program. And I say it's intense because there's a lot of moving parts. I have everybody stop eating gluten, stop eating processed sugar, stop drinking alcohol for eight weeks. And instead I have them add in healthy fats, drink more water and do weekly worksheets. A little bit different from this setup. But as you can see, it's, there's a lot more components to it. So my example will make a little more sense to you. Okay, so let's say I just signed up for the flat belly challenge and I am pumped, right? I'm like, yes, I finally found this program that's gonna help me get the flat belly that I want. Oh, I'm in. But then I get my welcome email from the flat belly challenge and I'm like, oof, this looks like a lot. My brain starts feeding me sentences like, you're never gonna be able to do this. 16 weeks, what are you, crazy? Eight weeks, no alcohol, what? This is gonna be way too hard et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? I'm like, uh, close my laptop, put it away. I'll look at it tomorrow. Tomorrow comes, I don't look at it. The next day comes, I don't look at it. Like a week's gone by and I'm like, I haven't even looked at this yet. What am I doing? Why am I so lazy? But is it really me being lazy? I mean, I had to apply for the program. Not everybody gets in. So that takes some effort. Not something a lazy person would do, right? And I paid for the program, I mean, that means that I was motivated at one point, right? Also something not a lazy person would do. So is it really laziness that I'm experiencing right now? So this is why you wanna get specific with what you're feeling. So at this point, I would probably pause my life. I would do a thought dump on the flat belly challenge. If you don't know what a thought dump is, you can find it in the worksheet, separating facts from thoughts. So if I was to do a thought dump on this program, I would probably look back and see thoughts like, wow, this is a lot. These are really big changes to my life. This is gonna be really hard. You with me here? Those are probably pretty common thoughts with something that's big like this. By looking at these individual thoughts, I could then see, oh, it looks like I'm a bit afraid. And then I could ask myself, so what am I afraid of? Then I could look at it a little bit more, think about it. Huh, maybe failure. Maybe I'm afraid of failing. So maybe I'm feeling a little bit insecure about my abilities. If I'm willing to make that kind of change, am I capable of making this kind of change? Can I actually do this? And maybe I'm feeling a little overwhelmed by all the changes that are supposed to be happening in these first eight weeks. Removing gluten, processed sugar, and alcohol. Like, wow, those are some big changes. So it makes sense that I'm not feeling great, right? It makes sense that I'm not feeling motivated. It makes sense that I'm not diving into this because I'm having all these thoughts about it. And all these thoughts are creating all these emotions. I'm a little bit afraid. I'm a little bit overwhelmed and I'm feeling a little bit of insecurity. But now that I know this, I can work on getting through those emotions to the other side of them, to feeling what I want to feel, which is motivated, excited, empowered, which are gonna help me take the steps that I need to start this program, to do the program, and to follow through with it. But until I knew what I was actually feeling, until I was identifying the emotions and I was getting specific enough, it's really hard to see where I was currently at what I was really dealing with, which is all sorts of mind drama up here, and how to get back to feeling better. 
So to learn how to get to the other side of the emotions, like what I talked about, check out the processing emotion worksheet. I walk you through how to allow the emotions, how to let them be there so you can get to the other side of the emotions so you can feel better. All right, you've got this.